The Hooters brand has seen phenomenal success over the past several decades, and well over 400,000 powerful women have donned the orange shorts. It is because of her story that we have such rich history. And here are just a few of those stories. I am Jessica Pounds. I am Vice President of Focus Brands, a multi-million dollar company in the restaurant industry. I am an athlete and I'm a Hooters Girl alumni. I am currently the Vice President of Training and Learning Development for Focus Brands. What I took from Hooters to this role now is the ability to interact and network. Being a Hooters girl gave me that ability to be confident, talk to people, understand them, and find the successes so I can help develop people to the next level. I am Andrea Hill. I am the Director of Operations for Original Hooters. I am a proud daughter, I'm a loving sister, and I am a Hooters Girl alumni. So my job now, there is no typical day. As a Director of Operations in one of our busiest regions, it is go, go, go. I feel most empowered when I am in the store helping someone and I can see their growth because that was me once upon a time ago, so it's really important to me to give back in those ways. Another amazing part of my job is the community involvement. One of the big charities that we have in Chicago is Holy Family Schools, which we've almost donated a million dollars doing Wings for Children. We are very involved with all things cancer. We continue to do bigger and better things in the communities all across the United States and eventually into our other markets that are across the world. My name is Rebecca Moncayo. I am a scientist. I'm a future doctor and Hooters has been a big part of my life. I started right before my first year of college. They worked with my schedule every single year. And then tuition reimbursement has been amazing just to be able to help get through school debt-free, which um, I've been able to do thus far. Hooters has made me more compassionate. I do pretty good with my standardized patients because I can just go in a room and talk to anyone. It's going to make me a better doctor, a better communicator. Right before the pandemic started, my grandfather was really sick in Ecuador. The conditions at the hospital there were horrible. And in addition, there's so many people here in the U.S. who maybe they can't speak English or they don't have insurance. And I really just want to represent those people and give them the care that they deserve and kind of close those um, health disparities that exist. I am Janet Kopis. I am a current regional manager for Hooters. I am a wife and a mother of two beautiful girls. And I am a Hooters Girl alumni. I feel like faith is what brought me to Hooters. We grew up going to Clearwater, Florida every year. Hooters was always a part of our trip. Years later, as I was graduating high school, Hooters was coming to our town. My dad approached me actually and told me that I should apply. And here I stand almost 20 years later as a regional manager for the company and absolutely loving it. Hooters has been so great to myself and my family along the way. It was a no-brainer to continue that path. I'm Jamery Albert. I am a survivor. I am a writer. I am a Hooters Girl alumni. I started in 2007. I grew within the company fairly quickly. I became familiar with their charitable organizations. Kelly Jo Dowd was a Hooters Girl who passed away from breast cancer. Her foundation was important to me because I was suffering from breast cancer. I couldn't switch Hooters off. It was what kept me going. So I decided to join my volunteering for American Cancer Society and my work with Kelly Jo Dodd. And we started hosting these pink parties. Girls were baking cookies and cupcakes and there was an auction and people were bidding 100 bucks for cookies. If it wasn't for the relationships that I built, I would not be here. My name is Taddy Boyke. I'm a construction professional. I'm a mother. I'm a nonprofit director. And I'm a Hooters Girl alumni. Hooters was a big part of my unconventional path. I worked at the Lubbock Hooters store from 2005 to 2008. I ended up leaving college to raise my family and I went back at the age of 30 to get my undergraduate degree. And then at 35, I went to law school to get my master's in business law. I am a real estate development coordinator for Faskin Oil & Ranch, one of the largest privately owned oil companies in the United States. I went from wearing orange shorts to an orange vest and from Hooters to a hard hat. I am Heather Steele. I am a licensed psychotherapist. I am a business owner. I am an ultra runner. I am a Hooters Girl alumni, and I am tenacious. Hooters really taught me that it's okay to be 
bold. It's okay to be powerful. It's okay to be a woman and to embody that and feel good about it. And it really taught me that I'm capable of so much more than I thought I ever was. Being a therapist, you know, and working with people and dealing with mental health, that's really helped me continue to send that message. If you're so much more powerful and capable than you think you are. And ultra running was the next big step in my life to embody who I am both mentally and physically. And when I started running, I couldn't even run a mile. And now I train for races that are 100 miles. I am Michaela Falco. I am the president and founder of a digital marketing agency. And I am a Hooters Girl alumni. Someone on the outside looking in may see being a Hooters girl as just another serving gig or another bartending job, but it is so much more than that. The skills that I gained and how I developed during my time with Hooters is ultimately what prepared me for what I do today. We have a team of badass women, some of which are former Hooters girls. We are very thankful for Hooters and all of the opportunities we've had to grow with them. I am Leah Saw. I am a wife, a mother, a realtor, a real estate investor, a small business owner, and I am a Hooters Girl alumni. So during my tenure at Hooters, I was able to start my real estate investing. Um, I purchased my first two rental properties during the time I worked there. And I do credit the job quite a bit because the job allowed me to save up a good little nest egg for that down payment. My next step in the real estate industry is becoming a licensed appraiser. I currently own over 50 properties locally and in New Mexico. Some of them are rentals, single family and multifamily, and then I also have some Airbnb vacation homes. And my goal is to get my name on as much real estate as I possibly can. I wanna be Barbara Corcoran. <laughs> I like it. West Texas, Barbara Corcoran. <laughs> I am Alicia Andrews. I'm a Marine, I'm a mother, I'm a politician. I'm the Deputy Secretary of Cybersecurity for the Commonwealth of Virginia, and I'm a Hooters Girl alumni. So you might be asking yourself, how did the Hooters Girl get to be the Deputy Secretary of Cyber? Hollywood and other places have depicted Hooters Girls to be a specific niche, to fit in a certain box, and that's not who we are. She's a doctor, she's a lawyer, she's a mother, she's a nurse, she's a politician like me. Most people don't see the correlation between Hooters and the Marine Corps. My entire career has been about service, whether it's been serving tables and, and serving people or, or whether it's been serving in the military and serving people around the world. You know, the steps of service that you're taught as a Hooters girl are really applicable in a disaster area. My name is Cheryl Whiting-Kish. I am the Senior Vice President of Organizational Development for HOA Brands. I am the Founder and President of Define Consulting. I am an Executive Coach. I am a proud aunt. And I am a Hooters Girl alumni. Hooters provides a platform in so many ways. For some Hooters girls, that means promotional opportunities in the community or nationally or pageant or the calendar and they want to go on into the entertainment industry or broadcasting. For some, it's developing their leadership skills. It's taking advantage of the tuition reimbursement and all of the other benefits that we offer to hone those skills and provide whatever resources we can so she can become whomever she wants to be. I am a business owner. Director of operations. I'm a Marine. An undergrad. I'm a future doctor. Current regional manager. I'm a law student. Construction professional. Nursing student. Real estate investor. Vice president. Hooters may have been founded in 1983, but this is just the beginning of her story.